given f of x equals the difference of five sine x and three cosine x times inverse tangent x, we're asked to determine f prime of x. Notice because we have a product, we'll have to apply the product rule of differentiation, which is shown below. The derivative of u times v with respect to x is equal to u times v prime plus v times u prime. Indicating to find the derivative of a product, we take the first function, multiply by the derivative of the second function, plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. Let's identify the first function u as five sine x minus three cosine x, and the second function as v, which is inverse tangent x. And now let's go ahead and write out the product rule. f prime of x is equal to u, or the first function of five sine x, minus three cosine x times v prime, which is a derivative of the second function, or the derivative with respect to x of inverse tangent x, and then plus v, or the second function of inverse tangent x, times u prime, which is the derivative of the first function, which is the derivative with respect to x of five sine x minus three cosine x. Notice we actually haven't found the derivatives yet. Here we just set up the product rule. And now for the next step, we find the derivative here and here. This indicates that f prime of x is equal to five sine x minus three cosine x and then we have times the derivative of inverse tangent x, which looking below is equal to one divided by the quantity one plus x squared. And then we have plus inverse tangent x times the derivative of five sine x minus three cosine x. The derivative of five sine x is equal to five times cosine x or five cosine x. And then we have minus the derivative of three cosine x, which gives us three times negative sine x or negative three sine x. Minus negative three sine x simplifies to plus three sine x. There's not much here we can really simplify. Let's go ahead and write this first product as a single fraction. Let's write the final derivative as f prime of x equals the difference of five sine x and three cosine x times one over the quantity one plus x squared can be written as the difference of five sine x and three cosine x divided by the quantity one plus x squared. And then we still have plus inverse tangent x times the sum of five cosine x and three sine x. And we'll go ahead and leave the derivative function in this form. I hope you found this helpful.